is a look. But we'll go with it. It is Monday the 3rd of October. Crazy we're in October already. And I'm going to treat you to a day in the life of me. So Mondays I am not in the office. And um, I do other work on a Monday and a Friday. Mainly music, some social media stuff and teaching. Uh, I normally start my Mondays and Fridays with my morning routine, which um, I have to condense down on a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, because I start work quite early. But on a Monday and a Friday, I'm able to do my full morning routine, which consists of doing some stretching, some journaling, my cards, and some meditating. Um, so I'm just about to go and have some breakfast, and then get ready, because I have a massage booked at half past nine this morning, because my neck, I trapped a nerve in it last week. And it is better, it's not as painful, but it's still not great. So we're going to go and have a massage this morning and then get some bits in town. And then I'll show you what else I get up to on on my Monday. What's going on then? What's going on then? Hello. Hey. Oh, hi, Miss. You're not quite as cute. <laughs> Hello. I love what I've done with my hair. <laughs> kind of happened by accident. Um, I haven't brushed it, disclaimer. Sometimes I don't have the motivation to brush my hair and I kind of liked the style it was in. So I just shoved it up and it looks like I have lots of hair, which I kind of do. But I'm loving it. Just wanted to just let you guys know that I was just really loving my hair. Anyway, let's go to town. place where I get my massage done is so beautiful it's called nature sanctuary and a lovely lady called Dee runs it and as soon as I met her we click instantly we're talkers we feel a lot we're quite sensitive people so we always have a lot to say to each other whenever I see her so I went in extra early this time so we could chat before my massage and chat afterwards essentially meant I didn't get all the other stuff that I needed to but it's okay it doesn't matter I can get them another day but my whole neck and my shoulders were really really tense but basically just solid mass of tension so she's done a really good job on those giving me some bath bombs as well bless her so definitely going to use them this week um, and now I've got a good 45 minutes to just put some makeup on get myself ready for the day I have a coaching call at 11 with my life coach so we'll talk through some stuff and then I've got some music stuff to do so first things first I need a pint of water. So I had a very good coaching call, that was very good. I've just had some soup for lunch, um, I have another little snack. And then I'm just toying with the idea whether I have enough time to clean the girls out now before I have to get ready for teaching. It's nearly quarter to two and I need to leave here by just after three. Yeah, so I'm now going to clean the girls out, which is, it is what it is. Um, it doesn't take very long, it's just a little bit messy. So. Let's just get over and done with. I've put some of their cozy beds in. Look at this one. <gasps> Dolly, you look so cozy in there. 
Ah, oh, hello. You love a fresh bed, don't you? Yes, you do. But you always think you're going to get treats afterwards. Um, and the house, it's important they've always got something to gnaw on, so it's good to keep that in. Hello, hello, hello. And this was actually a cat bed, which Wayne's mum gave us. And now you'll normally find this one. Slap bang in the middle. Hey, will we? Um, and I've also popped this bit across as well, just because now they're near the window. I just want to make sure they've got a little bit of coverage just to keep warm. See? See what I mean? She's straight in there. And, okay. She's, oh gosh, please don't. I'm on top of her. <laughs> so yeah, this is them. This is their clean home. And a parcel has just arrived, which has got some of their treats in, so... Be really mean for me just to open them and not give them any treats, and they know what it is. What is it? What is it? Give some treats. Give some treats. What was in the parcel? Is it your cupcakes? Is it? Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, no. Hold on then. Hold on. You love your pea flakes, don't you? What does mummy get first? Did you get kiss? Camera. Come over here. Give me a kissy. Kiss. Kiss. Kiss, kiss. Come on. Kiss. Oh, you two give me kisses. Hold on there. Hold on there. What's mummy got? Oh, oh. Mummy dropped one. Mummy dropped one. Hold on. Ow. My fingers. Ow. Ow. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Mummy's finger off. Oh wow. Okay. So now I've roughly got probably got about 45 minutes to get some more admin -y stuff done. Smells to read, music admin, a couple of tracks I need to listen to. So yeah, Mondays and Fridays I tend to try and keep the teaching. Uh, lesson planning and for my own music stuff. So I'm really grateful that I get to have that time. So I'm just gonna whisk through some emails, have my snack bar, and then get ready to pop back into town to get the stuff that I didn't get before I start teaching. It's all fun and games. ready to go do some teaching this afternoon so looking forward to it uh, we're still in the process of trying to build the the school so it's na it's nationally recognized there's lots of schools around the uk so we're just trying to build the true bridge one at the moment but we've got a slow steady stream of students coming in so fingers crossed it can start to build a little more love working with the kids love working with lorraine who was the principal and just one of the best decisions i've ever made so I'm looking forward to seeing where it's going to take me. So let's go and get ready and head off. what my Mondays can sometimes look like. It does vary depending on what is going on, but like I said, I try and keep Mondays to Friday, work days, whether that be social media, music admin, actual going into the office, those sorts of things. Um, I feel better now, I've had my massage, but basically I woke up last week and my whole neck and my shoulders just were like this. And it felt like I'd trapped some nerves, I'd trapped muscles, I'd just done some damage. Um, was in a lot of pain, couldn't really like move my neck like this or this without it being really painful. 
and after talking to my life coach and uh, my friend Dee who did the massage it is was almost like the it was like an after effect of all the grief that I'd had a week or so before it was it was like my body just went Whoa, and it was like storing all of this grief but it just it just it just amazes me how your emotions how grief and stuff can affect your body it's it's crazy but that is for another vlog that's the end of this one but please make sure that you subscribe and we will see you again soon bye bye guys Hey, you're so pretty. You're so pretty.